Well, maybe I can get a few views today. Um, apparently, YouTube is not a fan of my most recent content. Now, unless, unless my, my audience out there has just absolutely turned on me since my rebranding and becoming the Lone Wolf Podcast... And you just don't care for me anymore, and you just haven't unsubscribed or just thumbed down all my videos. YouTube is not getting the message out there that I'm releasing content, and they're throttling me down big time. How do I know that? Because my subscriber count is pretty much almost like a flat line. It doesn't go up at all. And within the past week, I've released videos. Okay, and on Monday, I dropped two videos. Okay, released two videos. The first one gets four likes and 16 views. The second one gets seven views and like two likes or one like. Seven views. Seriously, my videos are not exactly pulling in every single one of my subscribers. Again, because YouTube throttling, okay? But I'm getting a lot more than seven views on average, okay? So they're throttling me down massively. I, I've got a video out there that's getting, or, or that's still getting comments to this day where it's getting over five, it's over 5,000 views at this point. Now, to again, baby tuber, so yeah, it's not huge numbers, but, but I'm getting seven, seven on the last video. <laughs> so clearly, YouTube does not like the rebranding process of this channel and does not like the, the new tone, apparently. But moving on, we'll put that aside. We kind of all knew YouTube was uh, pretty screwy anyway, right? Seattle's mayor. This is what you came here for if you found the video. Assuming you could find the video, okay? Seattle's mayor has made the order Sunday night, chop, chaz, whatever you want to refer to it as. They are gone. They are gone. No more. They're all gone from the city. Now, what's ironic about that? When this whole thing started, when the anarchists came in and blocked off six blocks of this town and took it over, and, they, and the mayor was at the time asked about it, by the way, there are people who lived in that town who did not feel comfortable with that situation, didn't like the fact that that was going on in that town. By the way, there were also uh, a few black men who were shot and killed during the time that this town was blocked off by these CHOP slash CHAZ protesters. Uh, cops were not able to get in to treat people or EMS because they were blocking them out, not letting them in. You had a lot of people who felt really unsafe. And what was the mayor's response to all of this? That we might see a summer of love. We might see a summer of love. So in other words, when it didn't affect her and this, this kind of protest wasn't at her front door. She was perfectly fine letting the group of the the radical protesters who were going to just take over the entire town and, and, and completely abolish the police. We're perfectly fine letting you wreak havoc on your six blocks and maybe I can win some brownie points with you and win some kind of election, whatever, right? So... That, that was clearly the, the mentality there. You want to know how I know that was the mentality there? Because eventually, these type of protesters and these type of folks have done exactly what they've proven they're going to do time and time and time and time and time again. That's Escalade. We start here, and you don't fight back, we move here. And then we see if you fight back. And if you don't, then we'll move over here. They keep on growing. It... it <laughs> Now, some would say, well, that's how you're going to make people understand, and you get what you want. Well, what they wanted was no police. <laughs> so, how did they propose to go about getting it? 
after they took over six blocks of the town, and yes, the police precinct was disbanded. Okay, no, no police, no one's interfering in your town, right? No one's interfering in your town at all. But then things start happening, and the mayor doesn't speak out. The police are still gone at that time. The precinct building is still empty. And then the protesters, well, they want rid of the police, but now they've got more demands. The minute they made more demands and they weren't met with nothing but immediate action, they then go to the mayor's home to protest. Now, what I just say the other day about protesting on Karen and Kevin's lawn, okay? Well, that's where they went. They went to her home. Now, she didn't pull this stunt. She didn't pull a, 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 you know, a, a firearm out on them. She didn't do that. Okay? But they protested out of her house, I think, like what? Like Sunday night? By Sunday night to Monday, the order had been sent out for the police to come in and just <laughs> squash this whole thing down. It took them a half hour to an hour to do it. That is massive, massive progress you have accomplished. Congratulations. Be <laughs> you, you got your little six block utopia. No one tried to come in and bother you. I'm guessing they still allowed supplies in too, or else I don't know how you would have lasted so long. Okay? But everyone lasted... And then, and the mayor just allows this to happen, regardless of any of the people who didn't feel comfortable with this taking place, allowing them a, an unhappy mob to come in and take over the town, regardless of how those citizens felt at all. She allowed and permitted this to happen and just stood idly by, calling, uh, talking about, we might see a summer of love. But the minute they show outside of her front door, her exact words were, it's time for these people to go home. Ho oh, ho! Wow! It's time for these people to go home? Where the fuck were you when other people were saying that? Where were you when people were getting killed in the middle of this anarchy? Oh, you were nowhere to be found. We were going to have a summer of love. A summer of love, right? But again... The minute they come treading on your fucking toes, you not only tell them to go home, you enact the police, the people they've been protesting against this entire time to make them go home. If that's not a hack and a half, please, for the love of God, tell me what is. If it's not apparent, to everyone living and breathing above dirt that this woman is nothing but a complete fraud <laughs> then, then you're just not thinking with good common sense she does not care anything about the people in that town she could give a shit less and the only reason she did what she did was because they then came after her. She thought she would play up to these protesters and they would kiss her ass. And she could be championed around as such the progressive mayor. But then they came after her and the true colors came out. Turns out this mayor was another Karen, right? Another Karen, that old typical white woman, right? Yeah, and like I said, not only did she make you all go home, she got the people to make you go home you've all been complaining about in the first place, the police. Wow. All I can say is, uh, Seattle, you know, I don't live out there. I hear it's an interesting place. Uh, no offense, probably wouldn't be my style. But, maybe you've got enough sense to elect a new mayor next time the election comes around. 